Hello and welcome to day 10. So I told you it was gonna be fun today. We're gonna to be doing a bar inspired Pilates flow. So let's not forget about all our center work that we practiced yesterday, but we're gonna bring it into some nice bar inspired work. So this is for everyone standing stuff and we've got some fun mat work as well. So we're gonna start with our feet nice and wide. Um, and we're going to have the toes slightly turned out. Remember, not too wide. You don't want to over turn out through the legs. But really feel that turn out coming from the tops of your thighs. I'm going to start with a little side reach here. So we're going to pull up through our legs, draw in through our center, drop our towel down. Right arm is going to reach up. And we're going to reach to the side, keeping that length into the arms, into the body, and coming up. So just getting moving today and breathe in and getting into this lovely side body, grounding through the feet and lifting up tall, feeling that pulling up through your legs, good, and reaching up and over, feels so nice on those sides, good, and we're reaching, and we're coming up. Good, now we're gonna come into some little second position. Uh, plies, if we're in bar, we're gonna call them plies, not squats. So we're gonna come down, and we're gonna come up. Now we've got eight of these. Seven, inhale, and exhale. Knees tracking over the toes. So we're gonna be really working our inner thighs, our glutes, our hamstrings. We're gonna keep everything quite turned out today. So we've got five, we've got four, Squeeze in as you come up. You've got three, just keeping that rib to hip connection. You could even take those hands there again where you can really feel that they're not flaring open. You've got two and we've got one. We're holding for little eight ups and downs. Seven, six, five. And as it starts to feel harder, we're gonna keep breathing. We've got three, two, one and we're coming up. Now we've got six. So as you can see, we're gonna work our way down in twos, okay? Five, four, just check for me, those knees are nicely aligned. That's most important. Three, two, we hold and we've got six ups and downs now. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we've got four, full range of movement. Four, three, keep the shoulders relaxed. Two, now we've got four ups and downs. Four, three, arms slightly in front. Two, one. Now we've got two full range of movement. Two, two and two pulses. And then we're going to go two again. So we're gonna go back up to eight. I know, I'm sorry. This is good for us. We're opening through those hips. Two pulses, one, two. Or not really think of them as pulses. You know, I don't really like to, sometimes I say it because it describes the movement, but not really what people tend to do. It's a little bit too vigorous. So just think of up and down, four, ups and downs now, four, three, two, keep it smooth, one. Oh, I'm feeling it. We've got six. Six, five, four, three, keeping those ankles lifted, try not to roll in, two, and we've got six ups and downs, six, five, four, breathe, three, keep that center, two, one, we're coming up, okay, we can do it, we've got eight, breathe. Seven, knees over those toes. Six, full range of movement for me. Five, four, through those hips. Three, you can do it. Two, good, and we got one, and we're gonna go eight. Seven, breathe, six, reach out, expand, five. You've got four, you've got three, I feel it too. You've got two. You've got one, I want you to turn to parallel and reach over your legs just to enjoy that inward stretch, that hamstring lengthening up and over, letting those hips turn in. Just enjoy that forwards fold for me for a moment. Keep that lift up and over. Good job, and then just slowly come up through your spine. 
bone by bone. We're going to come into a little curtsy lunge. So we're going to come to this little, we call it Pilates stance, but it's like a little mini first position. So you're not completely over rotated, just a mini position. That's kind of the angle that you're going to keep the legs. So we're going to go hands to the hips, crossing one leg behind the other, a little curtsy, the knee comes in that little gap, back to that little V. Cross behind, curtsy, back. Cross behind, curtsy, keep your center. So, breathing in as you go down, breathing out as you come back up. Now you can keep your hands on your hips, or we're gonna add some arms as well. So we go, and in, open, close, keeping that center. Coming together with those legs, try and get those heels together every time, squeeze those inner thighs, check the tracking of your knees over your toes, no rolling in, keeping that little bit of turnout. We've got four more. We've got three. Keep those arms forwards of you. Two. One. Now we're going to hold it on one side. And we're going to open and close the arms. Just eight. Seven. Six. Carry your arms from your back. Five. Four. Breathe. Three. Breathe open. Two. One, good, other side. Into that curtsy hold, Ooh, find that balance, navels in, eight, seven, six. Keep both hips and shoulders facing the front. Three, two, you can do it. One, bring it back together and open those arms and come down. Good, okay, we're coming onto the mat. Oh, I can feel my legs. So I'm gonna focus a little bit on the back of the legs now. So let's just roll down through the spine. Keep it parallel for a moment. We will come back to turn out. Just soften those knees, just coming onto your all fours, all the way down. Now, we're gonna bring ourselves into some glute raises. So we're gonna turn the right leg out, cross the ankle over the other leg. And this is our attitude position from what that's what we call it in, uh, they call it in ballet. So both hips facing forwards. So we've still got that center, drawing that mat, pushing it away. Long neck, we lift eight times. Knee faces the side. Seven, six, try not to lean over to the left. Five, four, right behind you. So three, even though it's turned out, it's not going out to the side. It's going right behind you, two, Hold it for one, lower and lift, lower and lift. Drawing through that center, squeezing the side of that hip, both hips facing level. Good, keep that zipping up. You've got eight, seven, gather those ribs, six, long spine, five, four, three, two, and one, bring that knee all the way down. Good, other side, turning your knee to the side. Cross the ankle over, lengthen that spine. We go for eight, right behind you. Seven, six, five, four, knees facing the side, keeping the other hip nicely over and in the center. Three, two, Hold it for one, little lower, little lift. Try and keep that thigh opening up and back. Eight, seven, ribs to hip. Six, practice that center for me. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it to parallel and down. Well done, sit back on those heels. Just separate your knees for a moment. Have a little stretch in that rest position, that child's pose. We're gonna come into some plank to pike, but in our Pilates stance position. So just breathe there, reaching away. Then we're gonna come back up, 
So we're going to come into our plank position. We're going to bring our heels together, toes apart. Pull up and zip up through the inner thighs and into that centre. And then we're going to pike up, keeping your turn out. And then lower back to that plank. Pike up and lower back, keep those heels squeezing together, keep those inner thighs zipping up, moving through those hips. We've got eight, through those shoulders, inhale, exhale, keep those hips level and keep those heels high. Five, controlling that movement. Four, good. Three, squeezing that bottom, squeezing those glutes. You've got two, well done, you've got one, bringing it back. Well done, bring your legs back to parallel, bring your knees down and sit back again into that child's position. Now we've got a child's pose. Now we're gonna do a little bit of an arm, um, arm section inspired by bar and ballet. So we're gonna come to a kneeling position or a cross-legged, just any seated position that you feel comfortable in. And we're gonna sit here nice and tall. We're gonna bring those arms up like we did earlier. So carrying them from the back of the body. Long spine, imagine you're balancing those books on your head. Beautiful posture. We open, close. Open, close. Good, breathing in, breathing out. So remember that fly, that breath. So can you see how as you know, things get different and we challenge ourselves in various ways with various exercises and flows. The grounding principles and foundations are the same. The breath, the center, the alignment, it all connects. And as you make those your priority, then we will find that sense of connection, alignment, even more. Good, so let's hold them out in front and we go up and down now. So we're carrying them up and down and this is where we wanna check those ribs don't stick out as those arms pop out, as those arms go up. You're still carrying your arms from your back, keeping that nice long neck. Good. So really sort of holding yourself but not in a fixed way. Good. Holding them up. So now we go from up to side. Okay. So we're building that stamina, carrying those arms from our back, opening across our shoulders. A little bit harder here because you've got to really hold on to that center. They're really going to want to open into that arched back. So keep gathering. Think back of the body long. Four more. Three, calm, two. Now we're gonna hold the arms to the side. We're gonna turn the palms away and we're gonna do like little pushes. Push, you're pushing the walls away. Soft wrists, just let your wrists move. Let your elbows drop and lift. You've got 10, nine, pressing away, eight. I know it starts to feel hard work, even though we're just doing this little wafting of our arms. Now you can appreciate the strength of those ballerinas. <laughs> Good, you've got four, you've got three, you've got two, you've got one, arms float, and relax. Give those shoulders a little roll. We've got a last little section coming up. Rolling around, we're gonna come onto our backs, work some inner thighs and some abs a little bit more. So we're coming around, just gently come onto your back. You're going to lift your legs up and we're going to do our little point and flex inner thigh opening. So that Pilates stance again, long legs, navel to spine, we're going to go open, flex, close, point, open, flex, close, point, open, flex, close. You don't have to go too wide. Okay, you're gonna squeeze those heels together at the top. You're going to gather those ribs in, but try and keep that little bit of turnout if you can. And I want you to think of reaching as you open and reaching as you close. Okay, lengthen from the backs of those legs. Good, we've got four more, four. Three, 
Two, is the back of the neck long? Four, and now we're going to do little crosses of, cross, crosses? crosses of those legs. Switch in. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring them back together. Lower them a few inches. And then go again. Keeping that center. Cup of tea. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring them back up. Now we're going to try and go just a little bit lower, maybe 45 degrees. Reach out through those legs. And we've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Legs together. Hug them in and stretch. Good. Take little knee circles in opposite directions. Really work those inner thighs today. So just little circles around. We'll just rock ourselves up. So gently curve your spine, press into your thighs. And I want you to just come to a little straddle. So not too wide again, just take a little straddle on your mat. And we're just gonna take a little forwards fold, stretch out through those inner thighs. So flex your feet, lift tall through your spine. You can rest your hands on the mat today, just passive, a bit more sort of passive support. So coming down, breathing out over those legs. A little stretch there. And then just coming up. We'll do that one more time. So try not to let your knees roll in or out, nice and parallel, lifted through, and just walk your hands forwards. Really expel all that air, empty out, breathe in reaching forwards kind of keep your hips back try not to reach into it from your hips but the hips stay back and you go up and over from your body take a deep breath in and breathe out just start to come up well done everyone so let's just come to cross-legged sitting nice and tall resting the hands on the legs we'll just take three deep breaths that lovely posture, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, and one more, breathing in, and breathing out, good. Well done, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. Please let me know how you're getting on and I'll see you again tomorrow. Have a lovely day, sleep, evening, whatever you're up to. Bye.